developed as gum that was meant to be swallowed. Today we are looking at high chew. Welcome everybody to Walking the Candy Aisle. My name is Jeff. Once again, we are here for a fun candy review. And today we're looking at high chew. As I said, this was developed reportedly uh, as uh, as gum that could be swallowed. Sort of actually ends up being closer to uh, a cross between bubble gum and like a like a starburst though. Um, this is what you get when you have high chew. I'm going to rev be reviewing multiple flavors of this stuff, so, uh, you know, hopefully that doesn't bother you. But, uh, you know, I think we can all uh, agree with uh, how it comes down, though. Um, high chew just comes in these individual wrappings. It was developed in, J in Japan uh, during the 30s and 40s, uh, mostly post-war, though, because um, in Japanese culture, it is rude, apparently, to take, to take gum out of your mouth when you're done chewing it. So they wanted something that could, the inventor of it wanted something that could be swallowed easily, and he developed this, high chew. I've got the grape flavor here and the mango flavor. They are fruit chews. You uh, chew them up and then you swallow them. And all of the high chews have this white coating on the outside. It is tacky, sticky, very, very reminiscent of like holding a Starburst. Um, but uh, God, that smell, wow. That smells so strong. Um, good coloring too. I like that. Just have a quick look at that. That's a nice, nice piece of, nice piece of high chew. Smells great. Um, I'm looking forward to this. People have said that this is reminiscent of Bonkers. If you remember that candy from the '80s, uh, I vaguely remember it. But you know, I'm looking forward to trying the high chew. Definitely looking forward to this. I always see these and I just never get them. So let's have a bite. Mm. Well, that is certainly chewy. Okay. So, wow. So you're really getting a lot of chewiness to this. It, it lasts in your mouth a lot longer than I was expecting. I kind of imagined, I don't know, something that you have three or four bites of, and then it's gone. But this is like... Chewier than a Starburst. Um, the flavor is pretty intense. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's great though. It's really strong flavored. Wow. Um, definitely tacky. I don't know if there's any real difference in this outside flavoring, inside flavoring. All I'm really tasting is the inside flavoring. Maybe the outside doesn't even have any flavoring. Now that I think about it, but I'm gonna have the, one more bite of this one. Yeah, that's a solid grape. You know, if you like grape flavored stuff, hmm, a little tacky. Definitely good. Um, let's get into this one. This one's mango. Nice thing about this is if you like those sort of, there are some more unusual flavors of this, you know, inspired a bit more by maybe Japanese culture. Uh, as opposed to a Starburst, say, which does not have quite as unique flavoring. This one looks good. Oh, smells like a mango, that's for sure. Uh, I've never been a humongous mango fan, but, you know, in the right circumstances, anything can taste good. It smells good. I like the smell of mango. Actually, mostly what I don't like about it is the texture. So let's give this a shot. Mm. I mean... Wow. Okay. I don't really like that. <laughs> Mostly because I don't really like mango. That really tastes mango-y. I wonder if this uses real fruit juice for flavoring. I probably could have checked into that. Very interesting. Wow. Really intense flavor. Kind of sticky on my fingers. Um, but if you like strong fruit flavors... High chew is something that you'll definitely dig. Check out what flavors they have, though. You can find these at a lot of stores now. Check the by the register. Um, the nice thing is, is that they come in these individual packs or in, like, larger bags of with these individual packs inside them. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd be getting this one again, but the grape is solid. The one thing I really got to say, though, is 
the gumminess. It does dissolve after, I don't know, 10 bites, whereas I was expecting like five. It has a real chew to it. Um, yeah, a really like a, 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 a much more meat to it than you're going to get if you're getting a Starburst. So if that's the kind of experience you're looking for, I think the taste is really solid though. Uh, overall, it's, uh, it, it's got a great taste, um, great strong, strong flavoring. So if you want something strong, definitely not for the subtle, not for the, uh, you know, not for the timid. This is one I think you should check out. So Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate high chews. I'm going to give them a four out of five. Mango's not for my taste, but I think that there will be something out there in the high chew line for almost everyone's flavor. Give it a try. Check it out. If you want more reviews like this, come on over to walkingthecandyisle.blogspot.com and I hope to see you there. Later.